Action. Okay, so um, Mr. Burks and I did lymph, lymph and geography, but before I go into what lymph and geography is, I just want to do like a brief overview as to why the lymphatic system is important to our body. Um, this is an illustration of the lymphatic system, and as you can see, it's a very intricate um, circulatory um, circulating system, I should say. But it's a one-way kind of street, and so you have all these vessels and pathways that extend all the way from the appendages all the way up into the center of the body. And then you'll notice these little they're lymph nodes. The way that I saw it, and the best way I could probably describe it without getting scientific and using the big jargon, it's almost like this is your army. And the lymphatic system is made up of immune cells that are like your soldiers. So what happens is they're going to be traveling along these pathways and they're only designated to certain pathways. Now, along these pathways, they're going to pick up, I guess, enemies that are not supposed to be in your body, like bacteria or other things that may cause infection. Um, and then they're going to come and stop at the nodes, the lymph nodes, which are here, these little bean-like structures. Inside the lymph nodes is where, it's kind of like a checkpoint, where the lymph nodes are going to say, you don't belong here, so we're going to try to destroy you before you destroy us. Um, so if you notice, here it says, the lymphatic system vessels have valve-like structures that let immune cells pass in and out. So we're training soldiers here, and we're also letting them go so that they can travel throughout the body and pick up any foreign um, substances or, like I said, anything that's going to cause an infection to your system. Just a quick overview again. To collect and return interstitial fluid, that includes plasma soaked into the blood, helps maintain fluid balance, um, it helps defend the body against diseases, and it absorbs lipids from the intestines and tra transports them back to the blood. Um, this was one quote that I found that I thought actually made a lot of sense as to what it does, which is lymph nodes are a combination of a burglar alarm and West Point. Like a burglar alarm, they're on guard against intrusive antigens, but like West Point, the nodes are in the business of training the militant elite because it's going to make all those cells. It's going to form those cells and then it lets them go to do what they're supposed to do. Um, I'm going to show a quick movie before we get into that part about what this angiography is. When something disrupt, disrupts the vessels, when there's some type of emboli or any type of obstruction or infection or even like things like um, as severe as cancer, that's when this angiography was used. It's not used anymore because we have my... Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Where is the volume? It's all at the bottom. Okay, because I'm going to just talk briefly. The movie is a little bit dramatic. It's a little cheesy, but I'm going to tell you the parts that relate to lymphangiography while it's playing.
minutes for the contract to actually go into about the entire genetics and stuff. So the medical staff has time to kill and that's what they're doing in surgery. <laughs> Over. 